The film opens with a shot of a meteorite flying through space. Next, we cut to a scene of what seems to be an alien tentacle enjoying Veronica's bottom cave until she is satisfied. This scene is amazing I promise you guys. The elderly couple whose barn Veronica is in are concerned about Veronica's well-being and the woman says it hurt her. Veronica walks through the mist, clutching a bleeding wound on her hip. She tries to start a motorbike but appears to be too weak from blood loss. The motorbike falls to the ground. She attempts to pick it up but her injury causes her too much pain and she cannot do it. We cut to a woman, a legendra, lying in bed. Her husband, Angel, puts his carrot in her bottom cave until he is satisfied. She goes to shower and, clearly unsatisfied, continues to enjoy her bottom cave. But before she can be satisfied, her children knock on the bathroom door and interrupt her. In the meantime, Veronica has managed to make it to a hospital where a male nurse, a legendra's brother Fabian, is busy treating her injury. She lies and tells him that a dog bit her, and he asks her if she thinks the dog may have rabies. Veronica says she doesn't know so he explains that she has two options. Either she takes painful preventative anti-rabies injections in her stomach weekly, or they go and find the dog to check if it is rabid. She lies again and says she knows where the dog is. Fabian suggests that they go and look for it the following day. We cut to a legender and Angel having a family breakfast. Their one son Jacobo has a rash from eating chocolate which he is allergic to. A legender and Angel discuss taking him to her brother Fabian instead of the Ur for treatment. Fabian says they made the right decision coming to him directly instead of wasting time waiting for a doctor in the Ur. We now see Angel and another man in safety jacket play wrestling in the dirt. Their boss arrives and they have to put the match on hold. They ask him where the beer is and he promises to buy them some later. Later that night, we see Angel in a bar. He exchanges an awkward glance with Fabian before getting drunk with his buddies. A fight breaks out in the bar, but we can't show you this. We cut to Fabian and Angel using their carrots to enjoy each other's man caves until they are both satisfied. It turns out that Angel is a scumbag and is cheating on his wife with her own brother. This also makes Fabian a scumbag. We cut to Veronica receiving an injection from a doctor at the hospital. Fabian appears and Veronica tells him that she is busy coming out of a relationship. She asks him if he is in a relationship with anyone and if he likes sex. He says everyone likes sex. She then asks if he prefers carrots or bottom caves, making him feel uncomfortable. She apologizes for being socially awkward. Fabian invites her to go dancing with her one night, promising to introduce her to his sister, Alejandra. That night Veronica visits the elderly couple from the start of the movie, and they warn her to not get near it or it might hurt her more than it already has. The elderly couple suggests they get someone else to replace her in the bar. They suggest the doctor she visits. The next day, Veronica meets with Fabian at a restaurant where they discuss unhealthy relationships. Veronica says her partner never calls her and that they have started hurting each other, but she keeps going back for more and can't stop. She says her partner is complicated. She is not sure if it is a he or a she. Fabian thinks she is teasing him and asks to see a picture of Veronica's partner, but she says she doesn't have any. She then tells Fabian that he has beautiful eyes. It is awkward. The following day, Fabian meets Veronica in a field. He is nervous but she tells him not to worry because it's going to like you. She tells him to follow the stream to find it. She seems strangely emotional as she watches him walk off into the distance. He heads deep into the forest. That night we see Fabian dancing with Veronica in a club. Where did Fabian go earlier? What did he see in the forest? What is the thing he met? Angel watches jealously as Fabian dances with Veronica. He confronts him in the bathroom and asks him if Veronica is his new girlfriend. Fabian says no. Angel tries mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, but Fabian declines. Angel, now in a bad mood, tells a legender it's time to go. A fight breaks out on the dance floor between Angel and a guy flirting with a legender. They both leave with a legender drifting further and further away from her husband. Two days later, Angel visits Fabian and angrily demands to know why Fabian has not answered his text. Fabian informs him that their affair is over. A few days later we are in a field with some sheep. They find Fabian in a puddle in the field next to the sheep. He is behind that grey blob I promise you. At the hospital, the doctor informs Alejandro that Fabian is badly injured and is in a coma. That night, Alejandro asks Angel if he went to visit Fabian at the hospital before he was injured. Angel lies and denies meeting him. However, Alejandro says that one of Fabian's work colleagues saw the two men together in the parking lot. Veronica and Alejandro go to Fabian's house to look for clues. Alejandro finds Fabian's cell phone which contains a lot of messages from Angel about carrot shaking and man cave enjoying. There are also a lot of angry messages asking why Fabian never returned Angel's calls. She now knows for sure that they have been scumbags behind her back. 
The police arrive at Angel's work and arrest him because they suspect he is behind Fabian's injury. Fabian's work colleague testifies that he saw Angel have an altercation with Fabian in the hospital parking lot days before he was found injured in the pond next to the sheep. A legendra testifies against her husband and brings in as evidence all the messages he sent to her brother. Veronica brings a legendra to the farm, where the couple tell her about how an alien arrived when something from the sky made a crater in a field near the farm. Remember the meteorite from the start of the movie. It was that. The meteorite has an interesting effect on the local wildlife, making them crave sex. In the crater, animals of all sorts are reproducing wildly. Finally, the moment we have been waiting for this whole time. The creepy older couple take Veronica into the barn and we get to see it, the alien that came to Earth on the meteorite. Here is a bit more of it. The alien and a legender enjoy each other's company until she is completely satisfied. A legender returns home. Veronica has been babysitting her children. The legender asks her if her brother Fabian also had his man cave enjoyed by the alien to the point of satisfaction. Veronica says yes then asks her if she intends to go back to the barn. The legender's cheeky smile and nod says it all. In a conversation with the older man, we learn that the alien is responsible for Fabian's injury, not Angel. Even though the alien is supposedly only capable of pleasure, it has been growing more violent. Despite the dangers, she continues to visit the barn, again and again and again. She just can't get enough of this alien. Veronica attempts to form a relationship with a man, but he cannot satisfy her like the creature did. A legendra visits the barn again, becoming one with the tentacled seducer. If you want to see this unblurred, go watch the full movie. It's worth it, trust me. She visits Fabian in the hospital. She asks him to forgive her and says she is going to miss him then takes him off his life support system. I am pretty sure that this is frowned upon in most countries. Angel's wealthy parents use their influence to have their son released from jail, posting bail by selling his house. They berate him for embarrassing them so badly and insist he leave town and never return. Instead, Angel visits a legender in hopes of reuniting his family. She tells him that she now knows he didn't hurt Fabian, but he is not too pleased when she says that their marriage is over. When he tries to pull a gun on her, he accidentally shoots himself in the leg. A legendra helps him into her truck, but instead of taking him to a hospital she drives to the barn. Veronica's motorbike is at the barn so it is clear she is visiting the alien because she needs to be satisfied. A legendra drags a semi-conscious angel into the barn, where she finds Veronica is no longer alive. She is the supposed love alien that actually likes to murder people's second victim. As a legendra leaves, the creature lowers itself from the ceiling towards Angel. Later, the older man and a legendra dump the bodies of Veronica and Angel into a pit, where a legendra comments on how rapidly the dead bodies are piling up. The movie concludes with a legendra walking to fetch her children from school as if nothing has happened. Her son asks, why is your blouse stained mummy? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts about today's video in the comments section. And make sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos like these.